And WavePad it is a free app that you can download for iPad and for the iPhone. To look at some of the settings here, you can change the format, voice activation, just go through some of these tabs here, have a look at what you can do. You can voice activate, as I say, you can change the file format to MP3, which makes it very useful. You can um, change how you're going to do stuff, um, where you're going to save stuff to, how you're going to save it, so you can just work your way through all of this. Um, there's a fuller version available cross-platform for Windows and for PC machines. Uh, and for Mac machines, um, and this is um, makes it really good for podcasting um, and brings the iPad into a great podcasting environment. So there you go, you're looking through the controls here, have a look at what's going on, um, and you can set it up to make it work the way you want it to. So once you've opened the app, you can click on the record button, and once you press the record button, this little window comes up, and you click on the record button again, and it goes from waiting to ready to recording and you simply record for as long as you want to and when you're finished you just click stop and the program um, loads up the new audio file for you to look at. Once you've made several recordings um, you can it's easy to rename them so you just click on edit um, and you click on the stop sign until it turns sideways and you simply type in the name that you want as you can see I've named several files here just to make life easy for you. Uh, once you've um, made some recordings, it's easy to edit them. So we're going to open up a recording here, and you can click anywhere in the recordings, and you get these sliders. You can slide them around. You can select and highlight the parts of the waveform that you want to edit. So what we're going to do first of all is create a fade out. So we highlight the bit that we want to fade out. Click on the effects option. Find our fade out button, and just click fade out. We're going to select something else now. So we're going to select this middle section here. We want to amplify this. So again click on effects, click on amplify and let it do its stuff. So here we go, waveform's been amplified. Really useful and very simple way of uh, doing stuff. It's not multi-track but you can cut between different spaces and different places to do that. So let's highlight that um, uh, amplified track that we did before. Let's click on this. So highlight it again. Then click on, oh, not file, whoops, uh, come back, let's click on edit. Here we go. So click on edit. We want to copy this file, so we're going to click copy. And then we're going to close this file, so we want to save what we've done, so click yes. And then we are going to paste it into somewhere new. So we've opened up a new track. What we're going to do here is we're going to put the cursor point where we want to paste our recording, so we're going to click paste, and there's the amplified track from the previous track pasted onto this new one. Right, so now we've got our new recording made up of multiple different tracks from different recordings from different places. We want to save that, so we're just going to click save, save this, give it a title if you want to, or rename it, and now we want to share it. How do we get it off the iPad? That's the important thing, and that's when we set up that mail earlier on, that becomes really important. So now we've got an MP3 file, we can mail it to ourselves, we can upload it into other programs like Audioboo, etc. And we have a great way of creating student content.